All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next on the Power. So it's the day after the Olympia. Obviously, Sean Roden ended up taking the win. Phil Heath took second, and Rolly Winkler took third, and he also took the Fans' Choice Award or the People's Champion, which was the form of a uh, title belt. Um, so I've seen all the photos now. I've watched all the videos now, and I've read all the comments now. Um, and I think one of the most interesting topics that I've seen in the comments so far is did Rolly Winkler actually deserve to be in second place and actually beat Phil Heath? Um, so I went through the photos that uh, Team Andrew had sent me of both the prejudging and the night show, and I put side-by-side -side comparisons of Phil and Rolly in every single pose. Um, I think it's kind of interesting, the result that comes out here, because really, I think you could make a strong case for Rolly Winkler actually beating Phil Heath at this show. So I think a lot of us were saying that earlier this year at the 2018 Arnold Classic Australia, that was the best physique that Rolly Winkler ever brought to any IFBB stage at any point in his career. I think this Olympia appearance here was even better than how he looked at the Arnold Australia. And I think this was probably the best version of Rolly Winkler we've ever seen. Uh, maybe the best we'll ever see. So I think when you compare Rolly and Phil, the most important thing to look at here is the front poses. I think Rolly actually does take Phil um, in several of these front poses. Now, Phil does have two major advantages over Rolly Winkler that we need to look at in these poses here. Um, so he does have better legs and he does have a better back. Uh, but Rolly's legs aren't really that bad. Um, they're not really, I wouldn't say, really a weak point for him. Phil's legs are just better, um, but Phil certainly does take the back poses. But if you look at the front poses, Rolly certainly has the better waist. Um, his midsection is certainly in control, which was the thing that we were worried about. His conditioning, to me, appears better um, in a lot of the front poses. So we're looking at the front lat spread right now. Um, I think the chest looks more strided. The lats actually flare wider. The waist looks smaller. The taper looks better. Um, and Rolly's one of the the few guys in the IFBB that really has arms that can rival Phil Heath. He might have better arms than Phil Heath, to be honest with you guys. And then Phil does have the better legs in the front lat spread, but it is called the front lat spread. So overall, I would give the front lat spread to Rolly. Now, if you go over to the abs and thighs, we're looking at a picture of Rolly from the finals hitting an abs and thighs during his individual routine and a photo of Phil hitting his abs and thighs at the pre-judging. Now, I tried to use photos of both of them um, from the same point in the show, but Phil Heath did not hit any abs and thighs during his routine at the night show, so we don't have any shots of him hitting it uh, because it wasn't required of him. Um, so he knows that's a weak shot for him, so he didn't choose to hit it during his routine, and Rolly did because Rolly, you know, really he's improved that shot a lot, um, and I think Rolly definitely takes the abs and thighs shot by far. Better taper, better lat flare, better ab development. Um, he just has the better shot all around. Next, we have the side chest pose. I think this pose is kind of debatable. It's kind of up for grabs here. I think Phil and Rolly are pretty evenly matched in this pose. Rolly is a little bit more shiny, so his side chest does look more freaky. Um, it does pop out a little bit more than Phil's. I think you might be able to give Rolly the edge in the side chest here. So next, we have the front double bicep. I'm actually going to give that shot to Rolly as well. Um, everything about that pose, I think, and for Rolly looks better. He's got better uh, bicep peaks. He's got a better lat flare, better V taper, better waist. Um, just the flow of the pose altogether, I think, is better for Rolly Winkler. So I think Rolly takes the front double bicep. So let's go to the back shots here, to be fair to Phil. I think if you look at the back double bicep, um, it's no question uh, that Phil takes that. Um, just to the, the shallowness of Rolly's back is something I think he's probably never going to overcome. Um, but he is so good that he's able to uh, place highly, even with the shallowness, because his lower back is really the problem. The upper back um, only has so much development, and the lats only go down so far, whereas Phil's, you can see how low the lats insert and how good his lower back is. Um, and then again, the lower body from the back as well. I think Phil just dominates him. And I think the same can be said for the back lats, but I think you got to give that pose to Phil as well. So right now, I would give Rolly the front lat spread, the front double bicep, the abs and thighs, the side chest. And I'm also going to give him the most muscular here because Phil's gut, um, typically the most muscular for Phil is one of his money shots, one of his best poses. But this year, he couldn't really seem to control his midsection during the most muscular, and you could actually see his stomach sticking out while he hit that crab pose most muscular. Um, so I think because of that, you got to give it to Rolly because Rolly had you know everything controlled um, during his most muscular. And again, one of the few guys that can rival the arms of Phil Heath in that most muscular pose. And then there's the side triceps. I would just call that a tie because really they both have pretty equally matched arms. 
Um, but just the way that Rolly hits it is kind of weird. Um, but when Phil hits it, the way that he controls his midsection isn't that good. So I think this one's kind of a tie here. So there's eight mandatory poses in bodybuilding. You got the quarter turns, the front double bicep, which I would give to Rolly, the rear double bicep, which I give to Phil, the front lat spread I give to Rolly, the rear lat spread I give to Phil, um, the side chest, which I give to Rolly, um, the front abs and thighs, which I also give to Rolly, and the side triceps, which we'll call a tie. So without including the quarter turns, because we didn't have photos of every single quarter turn, I would give Rolly four of the mandatory poses, um, pretty much all the front poses and the side chest. I would give Phil both of the back poses, and then we would call it a tie um, with the side tricep. So I would have it four to two um, just on those poses alone. Then also the fact that Rolly took home the People's Champion Award, I think you could have made a very strong argument for actually putting Rolly in second and Phil in third. Um, but that was not the case. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think an argument could be made for Rolly taking second here? Thank you guys for watching the video, and please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.